when I found out that Robin Frederick was going to be part of this clinic, I found out about her credentials, that she's from Los Angeles, she's a, a big record producer, and I got really excited about the possibility of having my music listened to by someone who's in the upper levels of the record business, and I'm looking forward to what she has to say to me about it. Without further ado. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. It's great to see you all. Hi. Cool. Very cool. Thank good you looking for, bunch. Yeah. Very good looking bunch. Yeah. I want to say to you first, any song you write that expresses your feelings, any song that you say, yes, that's what I wanted to say, that's what I felt, that's a good song. Um, no one can tell you, don't ever let anybody tell you any different. Not me, not anybody. That's a good song. Now, if you want to take that song out to more listeners, if you want to open up your fan base, if you're an artist, if you want to take that song to music publishers, if you're a songwriter, um, if you want to take that song to record labels or music libraries for film and television, because we're going to, tonight I'm going to mention a film and TV songwriting a few times. Um, if you want to do that, then you may need to use some songcraft in order to reach other people with that emotional message that you put into your song. So what you want to do is get your listeners to relate to your song, to feel what you felt when you wrote it, to participate in the song, to get it inside their head and heart and be part of it with you, experiencing it as if you're singing it right to them. And then engage with the song. Say, I want to come back. I want to listen to that again or I want to own that song. That's what you want to do is get listeners to relate, participate, and engage. That's what we're talking about tonight. Lyrics are an enormous part of doing that, but so are chords and melody, and so I'll be talking about production, all of those things tonight um, as we go along. Uh, this song is by Ray Spencer, and it's called Color Run. And Ray's right beside me, too, if you wanted oh, to ask Ray. that question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Color Run is the name of your song, and I'd like to know what does Color Run refer to, because it isn't, doesn't really say in the song what it means. If you travel to the headwaters of the Mississippi River in Minnesota and you drive along the river in the fall as the leaves are changing color, that all the way to New Orleans, that is called the color run. Oh, okay. I didn't know even that. If even if you don't go all the way. It's a beautiful phrase. I'm going to actually play this song almost all the way through, which I may not do with every song tonight, but this one, there's something at the end I want us to hear and look at. So here we go. Really beautiful. A really beautiful song. Beautiful song. I very much enjoyed listening to this song. There's so much about it. It's a very evocative song. It creates a whole world for us as listeners to experience. And it's not just the lyrics describing this natural beauty. It's also the stateliness of the music, the tempo. The tempo is rather slow and stately, and it gives us that sense that we are, the world is slowing down, and we can take part in this and just stop for a while and observe what's around us. This song could be very good for film and television. Couldn't you just see this song, Robbie, underneath a scene of, you know, natural beauty, any kind of scene of walking through the woods or being silent and just observing nature? And we do have Absolutely. those kinds of scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even uh, you know, uh, driving in a in a car, you know, source music maybe, um, you know, in in a great imagery for for scenes like that, countryside, perhaps even a montage. Okay. Okay. Well done. Thank, Beautifully thank you so done. much, Ray. Love that. Big hand for Ray, everybody. Big hand, big hand. Beautiful song. Thank you for sharing that. Up next is uh, David Lowe. Is that right? Yes, David Lowe is up next. I'm gonna open up his SoundCloud it's the hot page. Seat. <laughs> the hot seat. David, how are you? Good, thanks. All right, great. great. Thanks for coming. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, stumbling Blindly. Uh, this is a co-write, is that right, David? With you, David Lowe, and Mary Lightly. Yep. Want to be sure I get that co-writer in there. And um, here we go. I'm just going to stop there so we can talk about this wonderful song. I love what you did here. Beautiful song, beautiful song. Um, there's uh, The production itself is very simple, and I actually love the production this way. I don't know if that's uh, the cello and the guitar create this kind of lonesome, mournful sound. It's really beautifully done. Um, I love what you did, and I want to point this out to everyone. 
um, how he's using physical sensation to mirror and express emotion. We love that when that happens. So this, the coldness becomes connected to the heart experience. And as listeners, we can not only experience the cold, but we can also experience what that feels like because we've all felt it. We've all been there. Beautifully done, David and Mary. Congratulations on a wonderful song. Good, thanks so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for sharing your beautiful song. I absolutely love it. On behalf of everyone, uh, thank you so much, Robin, for coming today, and a big thank round you. of applause. Thank you for coming. And that's just the camera. There's everybody. Yay! Good night. Good night. Thanks, Robin. Thank you.